nightmare creatures lurking in the shadows. The fog rolled in like a hungry beast, swallowing the town of Hollow Creek Hole. The air turned thick and clammy, the streetlights winking out one by one, leaving the quaint houses shrouded in an ominous darkness. Ten-year-old Lily, perched on her window seat, watched the world disappear with a shiver. Her mother, usually a beacon of calm, paced the room, her face etched with worry. It's just fog, dear, she said, her voice strained. The old stories are just that. Stories. But Lily knew better. She'd heard the whispers, the hushed tones in the grocery store, the furtive glances exchanged at the town square. Everyone knew about the monsters that lurked in the fog, creatures of shadow and bone, with eyes that burned like embers. The wind howled, a mournful symphony that sent shivers down Lily's spine. A thump at the window, a guttural growl, followed by a scraping sound made her heart leap into her throat. In the dim light, she saw a horrifying silhouette pressed against the glass, its elongated limbs and jagged claws reaching towards her. Lily screamed, burying her face in her mother's arms. Mama, they're here, the monsters. Her mother, visibly shaken, pulled her close, her voice a trembling whisper. We have to get out of here. They scrambled to gather what little they could, stuffing essentials into a backpack. As they reached the door, a hulking shadow shifted, blocking their escape. The monster, now fully illuminated by the faint porch light, stood tall, its unblinking eyes burning with a malevolent hunger. No! her mother cried, her voice cracking with terror. The monster reached out, its long, bony fingers twitching, a low growl reverberating in the night. Lily, frozen with fear, saw a flicker of hope in her mother's eyes. She pointed towards a small, dusty box tucked away in the corner of the living room. The amulet, she gasped. It's our only chance. Lily, remembering the stories, knew what her mother meant. The amulet, passed down through generations, was said to hold the power to ward off evil. With trembling hands, her mother retrieved the ornate silver pendant, its surface etched with ancient runes. She held it up, a silent prayer on her lips, and the monster recoiled. The amulet pulsed with a faint blue light, the runes glowing with a spectral intensity. The monster snarled, its eyes narrowed, but it hesitated, its predatory instincts warring with a primal fear. Seizing the opportunity, Lily and her mother dashed out the door, the monster's enraged roar echoing behind them. They fled through the fog-choked streets, the amulets light a beacon in the darkness. As they reached the edge of town, the fog began to dissipate, revealing a hidden path that led into the surrounding woods. They followed it, their hearts pounding, the amulet a shield against the encroaching darkness. Lily never forgot that night, the chilling encounter with the monstrous shadows that lurked in the fog. And as they walked deeper into the woods, she knew with an unsettling certainty that the monsters would never be truly gone. They would always be there, waiting for the fog to roll in again. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.